Lately, I've been enjoying Fortnite, Save the World, where you fight against zombies, as well as the new release, Battle Royale, where you fight to survive and be the last man standing. Now, my main form of entertainment in this game lies within traps. You know, those spiky electric things you place on the ceiling floor or walls that when not giving too much attention will be your downfall. What I've noticed here is that people don't expect you to camp out in a game mode where rushing is far more effective. So that also means they don't expect you to have three different traps placed in your so-called safe house. It is unbelievable how people manage to run into the same trap twice. Sometimes I even think traps are invisible for other That's people. Watch the trap TV. Watch the trap TV. He's in the house across the street. There's a guy. Go take that first. Yeah, go for it. I said oh, watch the oh trap, God, dude. You literally just called that out. You literally <laughs> just called that out. Especially the ceiling trap. That thing makes a tremendous amount of noise and still I manage to get kill after kill with this inefficient but fun mechanic. What I'd like to see in future Battle Royale updates is that they add more traps from the Save the World mode like the floor and wall pushers or the wall darts. The game is still in early access but so far Fortnite has been a hell of a fun game to play. Now let's stop the talking and show you guys some clips where I use this unorthodox way of playing Battle Royale. Every single match since the making of this video, I have been dropping down the same house just to show you guys how effective this spot actually is. The reason why I chose this house to be my main spot is because it lies very close to the center of the map, therefore the circle of death will be in your advantage most of the time. Now what I do is I make this house my domain and try to defend it as long as possible, preferably with traps, but since they are not that easy to find, I will have to get creative at times. 9 out of 10 people will land on top of buildings so they can mine through the roof and loot a chest which has a guaranteed weapon inside of it. What I do however is I will jump down and loot the bottom floor since that has more item spawns and has a larger chance of finding a shotgun. If I don't find a trap within the first minute and the chaos has calmed down, I will scout around the village for more traps. If there aren't any traps in the village, you can lure people to your hideout and kill them. Most people pick up traps but will never place them.
Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. My next Fortnite video will be related to revolvers and how insanely strong they are. If you have any suggestions for future videos then let me know in the comment section. Feel free to join my discord which is also linked in the description and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.